Season of the Malignant is coming and there's still time to right your wrongs. And by that, I mean catch up on the progress that will carry over into the new season. Welcome everybody. If you don't know me, I'm Bear Cozy. And right now I want to touch on this. If you have not seen the announcement, Season of the Malignant is coming and there are some things that will carry over. The most vile evil will begin to infect Sanctuary on July 20th. To have a smooth transition into the Season of the Malignant, there are a few things that we recommend you do in advance on your most progressed Eternal Realm character. So if you are playing on the Eternal Realm right now, which is the non-seasonal realm, there are some things that will carry over into the new season, making your character stronger and allowing for fast progression. So if you are playing now or if you've played before and you took a break and the season is live, make sure you log into your highest non-seasonal character because the progress will carry over. So there are a couple of things you can do. Number one, complete the campaign on your non-seasonal character. You must have completed the campaign on either eternal or seasonal. So if you don't complete it on your non-seasonal character, you will have to do it on your seasonal. You must have completed the campaign on either the eternal or the seasonal realm with at least one character to access the seasonal content. Uncover all of Sanctuary on your map and unlock all of the Altars of Lilith. So this is actually very interesting because everything you uncover and all of your Altar progress will carry over. So for me personally, before Season launches, I made sure I uncovered all of my map and completed all of my Altars because all of that progress will carry over. And of course, we get stats for every Altar we uncover, stats for all of the characters on the realm, which means our new Season characters will be a lot stronger than our original ones. The new character you make on the Seasonal Realm for Season of the Malignant will begin with all previously discovered areas of the map revealed and all previously unlocked Altars of Lilith and the corresponding renown to them, which is very, very huge. Most importantly, we urge you to log into Diablo 4 with the most progressed Eternal Realm character after patch 1.1, which releases on July 18th. Doing so will ensure that the progress you made in the campaign and with discovering the map and unlocking the Altars of Lilith carries over from your Eternal Realm character to the new seasonal character. For me personally, my druid is the highest right now and on him I made sure that I went around and discovered all of the map. There are a couple of tiny spots I have left undiscovered. I'm still going through and claiming them, but for the most part I got everything. And then we can look at the regional progress and renown. As you can see, I have claimed all five of the renowned in Fractured Peaks. Some of this will carry over. I'm not 100% sure if the Paragon points will carry over. By the way, there are four Altars of Lilith that you can claim to get one Paragon point each. So you can actually go through and claim all of the regional progress. I don't believe all of this will become available. But the way that it's worded is, the new character you make in the Seasonal Realm for the Season of the Malignant will begin with all previously discovered areas of the map revealed and all previously unlocked Altars of Lilith and the corresponding renown to them. So the point of the story here is you want to make sure you discover the whole map before Season begins or before you jump in with the new Seasonal character if you played and you took a break and you want to get as many or all Altars of Lilith as you can as the renown progress for those will be carrying over. So there it is. If you haven't completed all of the progress before you jump in with the new seasonal character, make sure you do that. There's still time. With that said, do me a huge favor. Hit the like and the subscribe. Also, leave me a nice comment below. And for more Bear Cozy videos, check out the top right.